Hmm. Co-washing. Co-washing seems to be pretty popular. So allow me to take a bite out of this one. Also, because you ladies been emailing me, um, wanting me to discuss co-washing as well, so that's why I'm basically doing this video. But hey, personally, I don't really do co-washing. And when I used to do co-washing, I didn't even realize I was doing co-washing. I simply just ran out of shampoo and I just had a conditioner there and I used that. <laughs> so let me be honest. Now before I go any further, let's explain, let me explain what co-washing is. Co-washing means exactly what I was talking about just a few seconds ago. You're just using a conditioner to coat your hair with. Okay? It is a technique that requires washing your hair only with conditioner. Okay, you will massage the conditioner into your scalp and as well throughout the length of the rest of your hair. Now, there's another term that people use for co washing, and they call it the no poo method. No poo basically means shampoo, that they just cut it in half. No poo, no shampoo. No poo, no shampoo. Okay? Uh, so that's what it means no shampoo just conditioner all right whereas the cold wash means that you do it in between washes all right low poo sometimes is also utilized um so low poo is like using shampoo but not too much of it okay it means occasionally using the shampoo but uh this means i'm gonna talk too much about shampoo we're going to talk about this co-washing thing. Okay, now, because co-washing has some cool benefits, um, I don't mind if you ladies try it, okay? So, let's talk about these benefits. Well, benefits include more moisture. This, these are benefits that many ladies that have utilized the co-washing method have claimed. So, Okay, Shima doesn't do co-washing. I'm just letting you know what the other ladies have told me that they have um, acquired through co-washing. All right. Um, yeah, more moisture. They say they get more softness out of this technique, more shine for their hair, more manageability, and even more thickness. Also, more length, which is the bottom line here. Okay. As well as healthy hair, of course, but the bottom line is more length. So that's the main reason why I want to do this video, okay? So, yeah, co-washing is a great alternative to traditional shampooing because, you know, shampooing can strip your hair of the original oils and moisture, but mm, you do need to shampoo that cleans your hair, okay? But this, this you can do once every seven days, all right? The, the shampooing, when you do the shampooing, the conditioner together, that can be done once every seven days, okay? Um, let's see. Yeah, the body's conditioners. If you're going to do the co-washing, I want you to, you know, select the best conditioners or the ones that really um, show the results, okay? Like conditioners include... Uh, Suave, uh, White Rain, VO5. Um, a lot of ladies um, swear by the VO5 strawberries and cream. Okay. Uh, her herbal essences. Essences. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I get tongue tied. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the Care Care, Humecto, Neutrogena, Triple Moisture, uh, Daily Deep Conditioner, Nexus Humectress, Do Grow Conditioner. Also, the Hydrolicious, uh, these are all conditioners ladies like to use, okay? All right. Um, some ladies say it's better to dilute these conditioners, dilute or rinse thoroughly, you know, because they say it might make your hair too stringy or too greasy, all right? So, you know, if first do it with just the conditioner, see how it works out. If you're a newbie, just... Do it because you 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 know it's different. It, that's another thing. This varies. These these um results varies from person to person. So 
you know, I'm just letting you know what you can purchase to get started on this co-washing thing. <laughs> All right, um, uh, one more thing regarding these conditioners. It's best not to use conditioners with silicone. All right, silicone for the icon on the ingredients list. Um, also, if, if they contain protein, uh, try not to use those either. Remember, the hair is mostly made out of protein, so you don't want to OD with the protein. All right, now for best results, best results, okay, uh, after the co-wash and during the rinse out, the best thing you can try to do is to lower the temperature of the water gradually to get it as cold as you can, you know, take it, you know, get it as cold as you can take it. Why? Because the coldness of the water should lock in what you haven't washed out all the way, okay, and this will keep the hair moist. All right, all right, all right. But this co-washing, uh, is it too much? Is it too much to co-wash their hair two, three times a week? Some ladies even do it every day. Oh, I cannot imagine me doing that <laughs> every day with this thick waist length hair. <laughs> oh, hey, <heck> no. <laughs> but, yeah, some ladies do do this a, a couple of times a week, a couple of times a week. Okay, so that's the question. Isn't that too much? Because, you know... Uh, because it could strip the hair, of, like I, I already explained that before, it could strip the hair of the, no, well that's with the shampoo, but regardless, you know, in darn well when you're washing your hair too much, you have to go through the drying process, and you know, the leave-in conditioner process, and and depending how long your hair is, that de depends how much time you're going to, um, you know, use, use um, doing this co-washing thing, could be, uh, imagine doing this like an hour every day. If, if you do it every day, that's an hour every day washing your hair and then getting it dry. Okay, so some ladies say, well, it might be too much for some, but the main thing is too much manipulation is what can cause the breakage. And basically, it's all in how you handle your hair. Some ladies, like I said, they co-wash daily without any problems. More power to y'all. I'm not doing that, but more power to y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, don't you have to use heat, you know, when it's time to dry the hair? I thought, Shima, you said band heat appliances. Yes, I did. Yes, I did say band heat appliances. Okay. Um, but if you're going to um, embark upon this co-washing thing, and you're going to do it like a twice a, a week or, or three times a week thing, you're going to have to sit under that hooded dryer at least once or I don't know because like I said that takes time to wash to do it properly this is going to take time so yes you can use the hooded dryer if you're going to embark upon the co-washing thing if not forget it ladies keep banning those heat appliances now some of the ways you can um, you know save your your hair from those heat appliances is remember um, do the roller set okay do the roller set or air dry or bun up your hair okay if you must use the heat always remember to use a leave-in conditioner or serum to protect the strands from the heat okay all right alrighty what else do you need to know all right suppose your hair is relaxed yeah like mine okay ladies if your hair is relaxed it's best to skip on this co-washing thing um, for about a week you know, if you just relax your hair, wait one week. At least that. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, what else? You know, yeah, because if you co-wash more than once a week, uh, you might have to blow dry the hair. If you're relaxed, you know, to get it back to straight. If you're a lady on the go, again, I told you to try to air dry the hair or use the roller set. But ladies on the go... They're going to be using that blow dryer. I just know it. <laughs> or the hooded dryer. Just try to keep it on a low temperature. Try to keep it on a low temperature. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, you can pin curl the hair as well. Sleep on, sleep on it uh, overnight. And in the morning, take down those pin curls. And some ladies claim that their hair never frizzes up that way. So do the pin curls. Okay. All right. Okay, if ladies, if you're natural, basically you could follow some of the same steps. It's the same thing. You're just going to use the conditioner. All right. You know, section off your hair and stuff. 
um, you know, get a bowl, a plastic bowl, and one of those handheld faucets and spray, you know, to give you more manageability in washing your hair. Uh, you know, coat the hair very well with the conditioner. All right. Remember to find the conditioner that's perfect for your hair type. All right. That's your homework. All right. So, yeah, pour a line of conditioner into your hand and apply the conditioner to your parted sections of hair with the conditioner from the roots to the tips. All right. Continue until all of your hair is covered. Also, whether your hair is relaxed or natural, you're going to leave this conditioner on conditioner on for about the 20 or 30 minutes I say 30 minutes on up so it could really penetrate and remember the oh yeah um, use the, the two plastic sh uh, sh uh, conditioner caps and uh, and the shower cap how I talk